Well, I think it's time to bring in our voice actors, and let's see if we can bring them in now. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, we are bringing everybody in now. So, hey, guys, how's it going? Uh, going Hi. great. Hi. Fantastic. It's the oh, big boy. day. It is oh, the big boy. day. Hey, let's go ahead and go through credits on who's going to be voice acting today. I've got them all here, putting put it out on the screen for you. Of course, myself, I will be voicing Phoenix Wright uh, to, uh, today. Um, we got the wonderful, the amazing Tulita Pepsi who, uh, <laughs> coming into our coming into our stream. A very experienced voice actor with this particular game. Um, yes. Play uh, and we, they will she, and she will be playing the role of Larry Butts and Maya Fay. We got Sunday Party in the house. Sunday Party's up in here, and she's going to be presenting presenting as Mia Fay. So, hello, Sunday. Hello, Sunday. Hi. Yeah. hi. <laughs> All right. Keldor777, who just introduced himself with his wonderful entrance command, uh, playing as the judge and Miles Edgeworth. Hello, Keldor. Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> How's it going, Keldor? <laughs> Still waking up? <laughs> um, listen, man. It's been a rough week. <laughs> so... Time for American Dongan Rampa. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ross. Coco Cream Wow is also with us. Hello, Coco. How's it going? Hi, hi. And I'm gonna do that stupid ass. What's it? Cuckoo for Coco Puffs. I Cuckoo just for Coco Puffs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that, that's now your thing, Coco. And then, <laughs> I'll sit on you with your mouth wide open. Oh, <laughs> wow. 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 Yeah, and we're there. Start All right. Strong. <laughs> Start off real strong. <laughs> Pay the fee is also in the house. Hello, Pay the Fee. Hello, Fee. How's it going? Hey, you beautiful motherfucker. His <laughs> <laughs> mother like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Pay, fee is playing Winston Payne, Dick Gumshoe, and also the Bellboy. Uh, and also, we've got the wonderful Beat Rice is here, is here on the yeah. stream. Uh, play, playing as Frank Sawit, Marvin Grossberg, and Red White. Hello, Beat Rice. How's it going? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so these are wonderful people here. Hey, if you have, if you aren't following him on Twitch, make sure you follow him on Twitch. In Beat Rice's case, make sure you follow his YouTube channel. Good stuff that he's got going yes. on. So it's great stuff, man. Yeah. So yeah, we're we're uh, gonna get this started. We're gonna try. We're gonna get through hopefully case one, and we're gonna get through uh, part of case two. Hopefully, that is our goal today. So, um, as yeah. always, um, feel free to chat. We'll be going through that. I'll try to reply through chat and doing stuff like that. Try to interact with it. Um, but uh, for the most part, we're gonna keep. We're gonna keep. We're gonna go through the performance, and we're gonna. And I hope you all enjoy it. I hope you all enjoy this performance. I'm, I'm really. I hope I enjoy it this. too. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So let me get this. Uh, start it up here, and we'll get started. So, yeah. Thank you, too, much for putting this excited. together. Oh yeah, Thank absolutely. You. Yes. Thank you. I've been excited for this all week. I do have there. to give. I have to give some credit to Beat Rice as well because Beat Rice was the original. It brought this original idea up. So, yes. Um, and I'm. Uh, yeah. So yeah. And it worked. And it worked. Um. Yeah. <laughs> and it worked. It's working. <laughs> 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 All right, so let's go ahead and get started into case one of Phoenix Wright, the original game. The Don't first forget to share the game. All right. Yes, let me share the game. Yes. You guys might need that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Otherwise, there will be a five second delay for each voice line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All right, here we go. Episode one, the first turnabout. Here we go. Damn it! Why me? I can't get caught. Not like this! I've got to find someone to pin this on. Someone like him! I'll make it look like he did it. Oh man, I'm already looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> that was great, though. August 3rd, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. 
Boy, am I nervous. Right! Oh, uh, hiya, Chief. Whoa, I'm glad I made it on time. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. Not everyone takes on a murder trial right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you, and your client as well. Um, uh, thanks. Actually, it's Act because I <laughs> owe <laughs> Actually, Sorry. it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? You mean you knew the defendant before this case? Yes. Actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. He's one of my- he was one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just- I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. Uh, is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. <laughs> Just bite her! I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna die! <laughs> it sounds like he wants to die. Fuck. Uh, um, yeah. <sighs> Nick! Hey, uh, hey there, Larry. Dude, I'm so guilty. Tell him I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence. I ain't afraid to die. What? Uh, what's wrong, Larry? <laughs> it's all over. I, I finished this. I can't live in a world without her. I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Aw, oh, Nick, you gotta tell me! Who took my baby away? Hmm. The person responsible for your girlfriend's death. The newspapers say it was you. My name is Phoenix Wright. Here's the story. My first case is a fairly simple one. A young woman was killed in her apartment. The guy they arrested was the unlucky sap dating her. Larry Butts, my best friend since grade school. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's usually the Butts. In the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself into trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That, and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. Good start, everybody. Slow burn. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. Oh my god. <laughs> the prosecutor is ready, your honor. The, um, defense is ready, your honor. Ahem. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y yes your honor. I'm, um, a little nervous. Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. Ah, uh, no shit. Uh, for your <laughs> client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, your honor. Uh, Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascern your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Hands shaking, eyesight fading, knees Mom's weak, arm spaghetti. Arm spaghetti. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
same, Brenzo. This test will <laughs> consist of a few questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please state the name of the defendant in this case. Uh, Larry Butts. <laughs> My effect. <laughs> <laughs> My effect. <laughs> The defendant? Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Galvin? Correct. Yeah. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Is this thing on? He's so intense for no reason. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. No shit. Tell me what the victim's name is. I know this one. Glad I read the case report to cover so many times. It's... Wait. Uh-oh. No. No way. I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? I just love Mia's face right there. <laughs> this is how court works. Drop uh -huh. draw. Oh, the victim. Uh, of course. I know the victim's name. I, um, just forgot. Temporarily. <laughs> I think I feel a migraine coming on. Yeah. <laughs> Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it at any time, okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Oh, yeah. Cinder Block. Cinder yeah. Block. It's <laughs> <laughs> my favorite Marvel superhero. Um, oh the victim's God. name is Cindy Stone. Correct. <laughs> now, tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was strangled. <laughs> no, it was. Oh. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. Right. You've answered all of my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. You get a cookie. Thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> Because I don't feel <laughs> relaxed, that's for sure. <laughs> well then. First, a question for the prosecution. Mr. Payne? Yes, Your Honor? As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object. Would you explain to the court just what that object was? The murder weapon was the statue of Tinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts this into evidence. Statue added to the court record. I have right. no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. <laughs> Thank you, M2B2 Gaming, for the subscription. M2B2 Thank you so much. Gaming has subscribed hello, to the channel. Hello. Uh, <laughs> Be sure to pay attention script. to <laughs> 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 Most of what I say is off script. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. <laughs> that evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. We get a gun. Last pitch of measure. <laughs> you just have to check the court record frequently. Counter stop, you're making me <laughs> Yeah, take a shot. Mr. Cute. She's not sus. She's my wife. Too cute to be sus. Nine one nine. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butt, to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything unfortunate. Uh-oh. Mary gets excited. I'd never do that. This could be bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're speaking out of turn. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 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 
that eye twitch. <laughs> Mr. Butts, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? First of all, I just want to say it's really cool that we have Professor Snape being our judge today. So cool. <laughs> <laughs> Please proceed. I'm gonna need your autograph at the end of this trial, but hey, watch it, buddy. <laughs> Mr. Potter. We were great together. We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Uh, uh, did they all die? <laughs> I wasn't dumped. She just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me ever. What's it to you anyway? Oh, God. Mr. Butts, what you described is generally what we mean by dumped. I was booed on. In fact, oh. she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. Oh, damn. Oh. And she pooped on me. <laughs> she had recently from, uh, returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. Murder. It's like Amber Turd. <laughs> hey, objection hearsay. Objection hearsay. It's the pain. I will hold you in contempt. Lies! All of it! Lies! I don't believe a word of it! Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the club record. Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the victim was a model, but did not have large a large income, just like Amber Heard. It, it <laughs> appears that she had several <laughs> Jerker daddy. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my. Daddies? Sugar? Yes. Older men who gave, uh, gave her money and gifts. She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. We can clearly see what kind of woman this Miss Jones was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. right? Oh, sorry. Just you. Right. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want him to answer that question. And his name is... Pod 5 Guy. Oh, I got distracted for a second. Somebody followed. I was like, "What's going on?" Okay, someone's going on. All right. <laughs> should I? I should stop him from answering, probably. Yeah, stop him. He's gonna. Yeah. My so client really had no that. idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to the case. Oof. Oh, Wince. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she-dog shows me ten million dollars! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna drop dead! Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this! Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everybody, everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy, this is not looking so good. Next question. You went to the victim's apartment the day of the murder, did you not? No! Well, did you or did you not? So we have you on camera, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe I did, and maybe I did that is not a good thing oh, to say. God, Lord, Lord. <laughs> he went. <laughs> what do I do? I gotta stop him again. I'll send him a signal. Lie. Like a dog. <laughs> um, well, see, it's like this. 
I don't remember. Like this and like that and like this, Anna. <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> well then, we'll just have to remind you. I got a bad feeling about this. We have a witness that can prove he did go to the apartment of victims Match apartment me. that day. <laughs> well, that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found a victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery, he saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. <laughs> Order. Order in the court. I'll have a chili dog and fries. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, your honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, Hydrate. my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank Chowit to the stand. That's a play on words. <laughs> <laughs> Just got that. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sawit, you saw newspaper uh, subscriptions. Is this correct? Uh, um, yes, newspapers, yes. I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Sawit. You may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Sorry. Please. Everybody's saying Please that. tell the court. And get it to me. Right. Patience is a virtue. Try to get the, uh, apparently the audio levels are a little low, so I'm bringing up a little bit. So. Got him. <laughs> I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing an apartment. <laughs> I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright to find myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1 p.m. The man who ran was without a doubt the defendant sitting right over there. <laughs> I'm really liking this role. <laughs> I don't know if I like this role. <laughs> mm. I do. Larry, why, why didn't you tell the truth? I, I can't defend I you talk. against a testimony like that. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Oh. Aren't phones supposed to work during a blackout? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones do not function normally. This phone that Mr. Shawit uh, used was one of those. Your Honor, I have a record of the blackout for your um, purse rule. Blackout record added to the court record. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, or, uh, yes, Your Honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, Your Honor? All right, right. This is it. The real deal. Uh, what exactly am I supposed to do? Why? You expose the lies and the testimony the witness just gave. Lies? What? He was lying? <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> Your client is innocent, right? Never lie. <laughs> then that witness must have lied in the testimony. <laughs> or is it your client? Oh, or is your client really guilty? 
How do I prove he's not? <laughs> you hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness testimony. Then, once you've found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. I don't think. Uh, I think that's probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I, I advise um, against that. Um, okay. Yes, my face is very sensitive. No. No. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you you shit on this floor, didn't you? Oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> going on this is just for that voice. <laughs> Open the court records with the tabs and point out contradictions in the testimony. <laughs> it's actually. <laughs> hey, look at me go. <laughs> look at me go. <laughs> I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw- I thought he must be in a hurry when he left the door half away. I'm thinking it's strange, I look inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman that movie dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. When I thought they'll call the police immediately. I remember the phone in their apartment wasn't working. <laughs> I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I, I remember the time exactly, it was 1 o'clock p.m. Hold it! Free this man from his chains, please! Yeah, running this now. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> oh god, there is evidence. I am so screwed. I just wanted to see him. I honestly just wanted to see him speed read that, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> you found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. It's my name. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. Autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to, or no body, to find at 1 p.m. HA! Boo! How do you explain <laughs> this three hour gap? Oh, that's. Yeah, dear. Uh. This is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Sawit, why were you so certain that you found the body at exactly 1 p.m.? I, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do. Point out the contradiction. I'm so screwed. Lies always begin more lies. Forget. I like you for games. It's hosting the stream. <laughs> but you can't eat pay gets. No, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He <laughs> threw one and their whole story falls apart. Thank you so much for the host, Mikey. Wait! Wait. I remember being the host oh, hosting the stream. stream. Oh, no, court works. <laughs> Would you like to give your testimony again? Not how court works. I sure did you around. Not how court works. Dilly dilly dilly. Dilly dilly You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time is it was probably coming from the television. Perfectly pumpkin is hosting the stream. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? <laughs> I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a tape program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about that misunderstanding. Program. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on a taped program. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> you know what to do. I've got this one. I think. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna go so quickly for you this time, so... Yeah, I think Austin got it too. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. HOLD IT! Wait a second. 
hold just a second. What's a Objection! Oh. Hold it right there. Uh -oh. Prosecution has said hey. there. <laughs> the prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery, and this record proves it. I wasn't drinking at all. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't have heard a television or a video. Fence <laughs> <laughs> has a point. Who no, does? You... Oh, fuck you. Do you have an explanation <laughs> for this, Mr. Solid? <laughs> Did the judge say that? Oh, wow. I no, I, I find it quite puzzling myself. The judge <laughs> used nasty language on me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going faster now. We. <laughs> 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 now I'm the judge, you cannot hold me in contempt. <laughs> Objection parading the witness. Oh, <laughs> Objection <laughs> shimmying. <laughs> what that highlighted for the court ran. Wait, wait, I remember now! Mr. Smith. I remember now. The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. Judge is pissed. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. And we'll deduct points from Gryffindor if you don't get further. At least... <laughs> oh. Your Honor, I am in Slytherin. That... Oh. <laughs> I believe it. Oh, I, apparently that's me. Yeah. Even though I cut to him. That's yeah. <laughs> You seem rather shaky. My apologies, Your Honor. It it it, it must have been the show of finding the booty. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Solid. Let's hear your testimony once more. <laughs> <laughs> the correct testimony. I'm getting it. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. Maybe. You saw a clock? I guess that would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the witness. Please don't. I don't think you should say that. I'm so screwed. <laughs> happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Actually, I didn't hear the time I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to the victim. That must have been what I saw. Yeah, the murder weapon! The kill you said the Objection! Wait just uh -oh. one moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was this statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? You, you, with your objections and your evidence, just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Sowit. Mr. Sowit. <laughs> hey, hey, I saw it there, okay? That's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne. As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is the switch. It is tilted, and it is the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is indeed a clock. 
Do you have any problems with his testimony now? <laughs> no. I no. think he's a trustworthy nah. fellow. I think he's good. I am very <laughs> sure he's sweating like the no tomorrow. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. That's what she said. The only way he could have known the gaping weapon was hole. a clock is so it's to hold it in his hand. Yet, the witness testified that he never entered the department. <laughs> Clearly, a contradiction. Mm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he knew the victim. <laughs> <laughs> You're lying! What? You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder! <laughs> the, oh yeah! Prove it! Prove I went in there! I'll do better than that! I can prove you you were the one who killed her! What? You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice! That was the sound you heard! <laughs> Order in the court. Sad. Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hey, Silver, me. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Just look at the witness's face! <laughs> Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? <laughs> I never! No flashbacks. Look, I did the, the clock. I, no, I mean, what's up? Oh. 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 Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you, I hate you. You're not my real dad. <laughs> You're not my real dad. It was him, it was him. I tell him I saw him, you freak. Freak. He, he killed her. And he said, burn, burn, give him death. Oh my god. Wow. Just turned metal on I'm so body. happy. Your honor, a moment, please. Who wants five guys? Uh, <laughs> there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. Your honor? You claim the sound of the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? This whole case is riding on this. Better think it through carefully. Your Honor, the sound Mr. Sewitt heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply ask the neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> Let's sound the clock now, here in this court, right now. This In this court, that we're gonna sound it right now, in this court. Your Honor, may I have the, the clock in the court? I ask the court to listen very carefully. <laughs> I think it's 825. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. <laughs> no crap! Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Peck, can you please tell me what time it is now? It's... 11.25. <laughs> Did you sneeze? Gesundheit. <laughs> as, you, as you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit. Try to talk your way out of this one! <laughs> yeah, bitch, try. <laughs> your old lawyer. You forget one thing! Uh -oh. What's he talking about now? Well, it may seem like the clock is running three hours slow. 
<laughs> it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. He's right. How am I gonna prove that? Damn it! I was so close! Mr. Wright? It seems you lack the critical evidence to support your claim. <gasps> yeah, yes, Your Honor. This means I cannot let you in... Indict? Indict. Indict. Yeah. yeah. The witness, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I went to school. Unfortunately, this ends the cross-examination of Suck Mr. Frank Sawyer. <laughs> I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. I lost my wig. <laughs> you treat me like a criminal. A criminal. You lawyers are all slime. Now give me back my wig. I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing <laughs> I can do about it now. Or is it? Not so fast, Mr. Sawit. Mia, I, I mean, Chief. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. Well, I've got the statue. Can it? Can it think for me? Uh... <laughs> That's but five Chief... points from Gryffindor. <laughs> 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 but Chief, it's over. <laughs> I can't prove that the clock was slow on the day of the murder. Nobody can prove that. Um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you still can't win. Try thinking out the box. Gee. Don't waste time doubting your facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and... Think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason, and you'll have your proof. Right, right? Right, right. Oh, right, right. So stupid. <laughs> you could, can you think of a reason why the clock would be three hours slow? No. <laughs> no. No. This is too much. Wait. Maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that you can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim the last three seconds? <laughs> <laughs> of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. <laughs> Tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see. Oh, sorry. Fucking let me speak for a second. <laughs> Let's see oh evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. My attorney's badge! My attorney's <laughs> It's this thing, just, your honor! No, just, do it, just do it, just do it. I kind of want to do it. Yeah, just do it. Yes! <laughs> um, excuse me. This proves your claim. How? <laughs> I can't see what your attorney's badge has to do with the clock. <laughs> Don't! That wasn't it! <laughs> one more chance. Give me just one more chance. Alright, Mr. Wright. Is it again? But don't listen to me when I tell you to do something. <laughs> <laughs> Be quick about it. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. She went to fucking France. <laughs> The victim had just returned home from abroad the day before the murder. As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is nine hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. on the next day there. The clock wasn't three hours slow. It was nine hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in the apartment was wrong. That was a lot of mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Proof enough for you, Mr. Sawit, or should I say, Mr. Did it? Burn. 
That's fucking from Gryffindor. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's dead. He needs milk. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> uh, order? Order, I say? Question mark? Well. Well. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm stuck in purgatory forever. This case has certainly turned out differently than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He, uh, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. Please take the pickle out of your mouth, Mr. Payne. <laughs> Very well. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly. And find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty! Yay. Wait, wait. Confetti? That's not how this works! Dad. Yay! And with that, this court is adjourned. <laughs> I'm <laughs> so concerned. <laughs> I've been watching these comments on the chat. Oh, so I, I, I can't wait to go back through the VOD and see these, these chats again because yeah. they're so fantastic. <laughs> Because Make sure everybody's clipping this shit. Yeah, really. Yes. We need Pose... the... Uh, we, yeah. Here's the real story. He poses a newspaper salesman to check and see when people were out of the house. That day. When Larry <laughs> went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawit let himself in to do his dirty work. <laughs> While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawit grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find and... ...smoked a fat one. <laughs> Why was he... Red Kool-Aid. India. Oh, PM. District Court. Defendant Lobby Number 2. Phew. I still can't believe we won! Right! Good job in there. Congratulations! Thanks, Chief. I owe it all to you. Not at all, not at all. You fought with your- uh, uh, I can't read! <laughs> you fought your- <laughs> I'm not the only illiterate one. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> you fought your own battles in there. It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. Usually trials don't leave me satisfied. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. Sad. Larry, you're supposed to, to be happy. Loop. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Yeah. My, my girlfriend did. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'll be dead and gone soon! <laughs> Good! No, wait, no, I mean bad! Bad, bad, bad! <laughs> Larry, you're innocent! The case is closed! But I'm going I to thought Columbia. his sleeves were handcuffs. <laughs> but, but my Cindy Wendy's gone, man! Go oh, for please, it! <laughs> Larry, he was, uh, uh, Nah, never mind. Cindy Wendy, get the box! <laughs> Congratulations, Harry! No. <laughs> Harry! Harry. Yes, you! I can practically see the headlines now. Harry, Harry but oh. <laughs> oh, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. I really owe you one. <laughs> I won't forget this, ever! Let's celebrate dinner, movie, my treat. You're pretty. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wow, that that was perfect. That was really well timed. <laughs> that was 
Oh no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Uh, oh hey, where'd my hand go? Here, take this. <laughs> It's a present! Swipe evidence! <laughs> a hand! A, a present for me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that- That's a fucking murder weapon! Actually, I made this hawk for her! Yeah! I made one for her, and uh, one for me! That's uh, so this creepy! This won't end badly. Really? You made this? Keep it! Well, thank you. <laughs> well, some lawyer, right? <laughs> Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And and she was playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to cry? <laughs> Every day. Larry. Uh. Hmm. Are you so sharp? Uh. Excuse me. Please. Please. <laughs> I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's sake. Okay. okay. <laughs> oh, I'm not sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Stop asking him, Mr. Right. <laughs> Something that, <laughs> something that proves how she felt about him? Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. Totally know what that is. <laughs> what the heck is she talking about? <laughs> My lawyer's badge! <laughs> My lawyer's badge! <laughs> <laughs> this is why she loved you. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive you weren't just some chump to her. Huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Mary, and she took it with her when she traveled. <laughs> Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. Yeah, it's probably a statue. Chaw! 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 You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Chaw! <laughs> well, make of it what you will. Chaw? <laughs> Why is he karate chopping everybody? <laughs> hey, Nick! <laughs> I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Really? I am! Thanks! <laughs> that made him feel real bad. I chaw. These are important some evidence now. Yeah, it's really important in a case. <laughs> I'm taking one home with me, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> also, hopefully, you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People too. You never really know if our our clients are guilty or innocent. No. All we can do is believe in them. Oh. In order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Aww. Right? Listen, learn, grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. And live, laugh, love, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The real defendants were the friends we the, made along the way. I think I realized <laughs> the joke in your name, too, Lita. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> realized it? <laughs> Shut up. I love it. <laughs> well, I think, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner? On me? We'll drink we'll a drink toast, toast to... <laughs> in oh, <sorry. laughs> I gotta re I gotta read a little bit more. Yeah! <laughs> oh, speaking of Harry. You were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Keep calling him Harry. <laughs> Yo. He's not yeah. correcting her. <laughs> part of the, I'm not. Nope, not correcting her at all. <laughs> er, yeah, friend, part at least. You have to tell me more about it sometime. Maybe over drinks. Ooh, Ooh. Nudge, nudge. The date. Larry the date. <laughs> and so my first, my first 
tra first trial oh. came to a close. Mm. Larry slapped me on the back mm. and said, Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends. <laughs> <laughs> so pretty sure uh, he's not going to pay us. Unless you count the clock he gave me. Uh. Mm. Why is it called Nick? <laughs> You'll see. I didn't know it then. I don't know either. But that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident. And my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Foreshadowing. And, and that is the end, end of episode one. All right. Yay! We're going to keep going, though. Yay! <laughs> We're going to move on to the we second did it. episode. Uh, you might have and used it. April, May. Like... Yes, April, May making <laughs> your appearance. April, May, please. And right away. Oh, no. <laughs> Not April, May. <laughs> yes, God, I'm so excited. Good, guys, good job. PTSD. Good job, everyone. Oh, yeah. Really quick, too, so can we take a two second bathroom break? Yeah, okay, yeah, let's take an intermission for a second. We'll yeah, right. 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 We'll take a quick intermission. Yeah, and give that was me a awesome. second to say hello to everybody and welcome. Welcome over to our Ace Attorney stream we've been doing. We just finished through episode one. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you guys for the follows. Uh, let me go through my list here. Ari, thank you so much for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Pod 5 Guy, thank you so much for your follow, my friend. Welcome, welcome. Uh, M2B2 Gaming, I appreciate your subscription. I'm so glad to see you guys and welcome. And it's so good to see you after we saw you last night and read on to you guys. Um, <laughs> injection here, say. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then Ari with the follow as well. Thank you so much, guys, for your support. I do appreciate it. I am looking forward to going back to the VOD and seeing all your comments because I was glancing at them over time and i couldn't stop laughing at some of them so and haven <laughs> haven hey good to see you as well haven welcome welcome uh welcome in and yeah i think you asked about dong and rampa yeah we actually just finished that we just finished v3 um and it was it it, it got me shook <laughs> it got me absolutely <laughs> shook at the end of the game so but uh perfectly pumpkin why are you sad why are you sad don't be sad oh. Don't be sad. It's all good. We're all having fun around here. So, um, why is Pumpkin sad? I need to know why Pumpkin's sad. I need to know that right now. Yeah, oh, always. I turned dad. off the hot. Yes, I turned off the hot. I didn't want. See, I I thought about leaving the hot dog command in there, but I it's like this. There's like this overlay that has like a like a hour long or not an hour a minute long thing, and I didn't want it to like come right over the the stream like we're doing a performance and he's. <laughs> You gotta see it. I I can't explain it, but it's Birthday it makes sense. Trust me. Dishwasher. Trust me. We're gonna be streaming tonight, though. We still have it tonight. You can save it. Yeah. <laughs> what about the first and second Doc and Robbers? <laughs> um. Yeah. I did. I did play through the. I didn't. Pl I didn't stream those. I played those before I was streaming, but I finished those two already. So yeah. I mean, we might want to play that one more time and do voice acting for that. I don't know. That's a long game. I don't know if I can play that again. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, all right. Uh, we're still waiting on... We're still waiting on... Going back to... I have returned. Okay, so we have returned. I'm here. Coco, are you muted for a reason, or are you waiting? I think Coco had to step away, didn't, didn't they? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, we're all here? Okay. Yeah, all right. Very good. Let's return. We are all back. Let us return to uh, Spooky Ghost is in the house. Hello, Ace. Spooky Ghost. Welcome. Hi, Spooky. Hi, Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let us I, don't, I don't know who you are. <laughs> let us hey, return. hey, don't run her away, you guys. You just got here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you talking to me? <laughs> Whoever was making the hood. <laughs> oh, never mind. Answer the damn phone. Hello? This is Maya. Hey, Maya. It's me. Mia! What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely. And it's all your fault. <laughs> nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you? Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz going... There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. 
I just don't feel safe keeping evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like that statue, the thinker. And it tells you the time. It's totally not evidence from a previous <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, definitely not. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. No. <laughs> hey! I'm not a little girl anymore, sis! Now, now. You know I'm only teasing. Ah, uh, I should probably tell you. The clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. Right. I had to take the clock work out. Sorry. I put some papers inside of it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way. Yes. Can you come by the office tonight? Say, 9 o'clock to pick it up? I'll be in a pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner. Something good. Like, uh, burgers. Could really go for a good burger. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Okay, sis. See you soon. Yep. Not. I'll be- <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yep. I'll be waiting by Jesus Christ! Beep. Conversation recorded September 5th, 9.27am. September 5th, 8.57pm. Faye and Co. Law, law Offices. Law Offices. Law Offices. Beat Rice. Oh, yeah. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers. Oh, Peter. Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Oh, Mia. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. <laughs> Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How did you know? <laughs> you are not cogniferous of my background. <laughs> <laughs> Gathering <laughs> information is my business, you see. I... I should have been more careful. <laughs> uh, uh... My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. I love imagining this scene. For eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Ah! For Ghost Go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right, the Cusco. Poison. Cusco. 908 PM. Poison, right. Ray and Code Law Offices. Uh oh. I'm late. Huh? That's strange. Guess the chief left without me? She said her sister was coming over, so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Mia! Maybe she's in her law maybe she's in her office. Office. Her law office. Law office. The law office. Go to the law office. I love her law office. Blood. Stop it. Sis! Someone's there! Ch Chief? Chief? Chief! <laughs> Are we shouting about cheese? Stella! <laughs> Wilson! Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's okay. why I introduced uh, myself. Hi, Strange, <laughs> Strange girl. I How you doing? I forgot there was no words exchanged. It's just... <laughs>
This fall. <laughs> the strange girl she out. was standing in front of you and just. <laughs> <laughs> the strange girl. Hey, is my girl. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the window. Her body was still warm. I could Ugh. feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally she was cold. Do you feel it, baby? <laughs> no, come on! Do you feel it, Mr. Wright? <laughs> oh no! My God, come on! Baby. I'm gonna fucking pray. Oh, no. <laughs> Do you feel it, stepdaddy, right? Oh, oh I'm just my last. What the? <laughs> well, let's let's keep moving on, shall we? All right. God. Chief. Oh, chief. Chief. <laughs> Examine the chief. <laughs> It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any clues here, she was struck on the head with a blunt object. How does that sound familiar? She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. The thinker has been added to the clue. No blood on it this time. There are some glass shards near the chief body. <laughs> must be pieces of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. Glass shards have been added to the clue. Nothing else seems like there's a clue here, except this receipt that suddenly appeared before the screen for some reason. Did you call the police? <laughs> Wait a minute, why are you investigating? <laughs> I, I swear, that receipt, that receipt was not sitting there in the middle of the, like, right there. It just, it just appeared out of nowhere. <laughs> what could it be? Maya written in blood. <laughs> uh, a word is written in blood on the, the scrap of paper. Maya. Did Mia write this? <laughs> That's my favorite condiment. <laughs> I love mayo. Mayo's great. Uh, <laughs> mayo? Eat it. But why'd you write it in ketchup? Um, <laughs> <laughs> she write mayo and ketchup. What the fuck? <laughs> the paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. The receipt has been added to the court record. I think that's enough snooping around for now. Yeah. I call the police. Yeah. Find out what that girl Especially after doing. touching the body. Oh, you going to jail? Is yeah. it right? <laughs> Honestly. Get out. Examine the chief. Right. I'd better call the police. <laughs> that's funny. Even screws on the receiver are missing. Looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Oh wait, who's that? Oh, I bet it's Dick. I think it's uh, Gumshoe. Oh, it's Gumshoe. Please? Please, please, come quick. Oh, nope, what? never mind. That was just random. Oh, that's Maya. Oh, that's, that's, I think it's Maya. <laughs> Oops. What's that? M Maya dropped down a couple octaves. Oh, oh, wait, no, no. Was, oh, no, it was April, May. It's April, May. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's April, May, so Coco, this is you. Oh. Uh, I guess that question mark. Uh, yeah, not, not yet. Uh, someone screaming from outside the window? <gasps> She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. Yeah, I guess we. This is <laughs> all right, that's all right. <laughs> all right. So where it all went downhill. She crusted with blood. How iconic this became the murder weapon again. All right, what am I supposed to examine here? A chief. Again? Examine the chief. It's painful to look, but I have to for me to Looks like she was hit with the head with a blunt weapon. Probably died instantly. So you should examine the chief again. <laughs> There's a large building right across the house. The Gatewater Hotel. A nice luxurious. Gatewater? Place. Are you kidding me? Gatewater. You should uh, examine that chief again. No! What am I missing? They encode ledger books. Everything is written in the chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit. Okay, well, that's relevant. <laughs> Imagine red white pops up behind guests going, Peekaboo! Oh, wait a minute. Let's see. Oh, the computer, the computer. Yes, the computer, yeah. 
surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. <laughs> About all she used the PC was her email. She picked up this ancient model for Epson garage sale for practically nothing. Right. Love a bargain. Chair. <laughs> Chief's chair. A simple functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in, too. That Did you always... just sit in the fucking odd chair? <laughs> <laughs> Your boss was murdered? You just picked up the chair and was like, ah! Oh! Shards really of, good! The shards of glass are oh, on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. Chief. Um. You should examine the chief again. Stop! <laughs> Stop! I think you can move at this point, if I remember correctly. Oh, yeah, that's right, the that's right. Oh, wait, no, there's records on the, the back. There's records. No. Look. I do not remember correctly. The books! No, the records. The, the wall on the right. The wall on the right. That's why I said check the books! <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that's right. Oh, okay. That girl just now. Where did she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh. <laughs> I hope she didn't run on me. Yikes! Ooh. Don't scare me like that. Um. Excuse me, but. Who are you? Aww. It's okay. I'm your dad. I work here. Maya? Maya Faye? Maya here. Maya 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 Sorry. That's my so full Mia name, guys. Don't use my full name. <laughs> Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. <laughs> <laughs> This seems like a very bad idea. I'm just saying. Oh, oh your sister just got murdered, but hey, here's some evidence pointing to you! <laughs> <laughs> Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. Then it wasn't she it, instant. She, she wrote it on the back back of this receipt. <gasps> That's my name! Yeah. No shit! Fuck you! Why? <laughs> <laughs> she my Why would she write my name in ketchup? Please, just calm down. I hate ketchup! Why, why, why would sis write my name? In ketchup. Uh, now I've done it. Yeah, good job. Wee -woo -wee -woo -wee -woo -wee -woo -woo. <gasps> police! Da -da 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 -da. They're coming this way. Alright, see ya, thanks. Freeze! Police! All right, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. See? Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? <laughs> Got a person saying they saw a murder. And his name see? Is see? <laughs> I'm sorry. It what? says, Don't run it, says it, 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 it says it was somebody saw a murder. And his, and then my follow up command came up and says, and his name is. That was great. It must have been the, that woman I saw. Floyd, thank you so much for your follow. Hi, Floyd. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving an inch, okay? Just great. Maya. Wait, she would have... Whoa! <laughs> Excuse me! <laughs> this word, Maya, here mean anything to you? That's my name. What? <laughs> the victim drew this here. A uh, note in her own blood. See? He does say see a lot. I never noticed that before. With her dying that. breath, she wrote That's down the exactly. killer's name. Wait. Killer, the I'm not... Case closed. We're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. What? Hi, Maya. My... 
my yahoo. My yahoo. My Mia's younger yahoo. sister Mia was arrested. Mia's younger sister Maya was arrested on the spot. I said Mia's younger sister Mia. My yahoo. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, knees weak, mom spaghetti. But I couldn't sleep. <laughs> I sat, sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh! Oh! It's you! The lawyer! Good morning! Good morning. Not that great. She looks so <laughs> Um, are you going to be my attorney? Nah. <laughs> this is what we're doing. Well, that's what oh, I want to talk to you about. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry, not a no. chance. <laughs> <gasps> I'm gonna say it's okay. I better give it to you. It's up to you. Up to me? Yes, I don't think this is something I should decide. After all, you're the one in trouble here. Don't say it like that, damn it! <laughs> no, you're just an asshole. They're never, gonna be like... <laughs> They're never gonna believe me, are they? No. Even you! When you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? You have yes. rushing bitch face, yes. Am I the asshole? <laughs> yes. No, no, I never thought... It's okay. I understand. No. And I've also heard about you. Heard? Heard what, what about me? I... I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. You were ah. edging? Uh, <laughs> I, was, okay. I was waiting for that. <laughs> <laughs> so he crashed and burned. <laughs> I, was, I was edging, see? <laughs> <laughs> not, not yet, Edgeworth is later. <laughs> He's a genius. One of those strikes fear into the hearts of evil type. Oh. And she's overselling you. Yeah, very. <laughs> the only thing he's lacking is experience. Okay, there comes the undersell. <laughs> ah, sounds like it was fun. I was looking for the little bit of <laughs> yep, yep. In that one. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, mate. I was about to say mayo. <laughs> April, May, I don't know. I don't know, mayo. <laughs> I don't know, Maya. <laughs> I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. <laughs> Whoa. Dang. That is, unless you want to be found. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. 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 well, you're not getting chosen now. <laughs> yeah, her full name is Mayonnaise Hee Haw. Mayonnaise Hee Haw. Hey, that's my full name. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah. Are you kidding me? Oh. <laughs> Come on! Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this to me. I look like I don't know what I'm talking about. This game is making me the funniest guy in the room. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. I didn't mean to make, a, make an appropriate joke. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia... Mm, I know. Let's talk. You should examine her. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Dude! <laughs> 
Stop! <laughs> I'm gonna put you in a horny corner. I'm tired of you. Horny jail. Come on. Horny jail. <laughs> Alright, can I ask you? It's about the fact that my eyeballs are in front of my bangs, isn't it? <laughs> that's true. I'm and eyebrows, yes. too. <laughs> What's with that outfit? Oh, that's the part. I inspect it. <laughs> oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Mmm. Acolytes? <laughs> like people in religious training? What is it you do? Because I totally do that offhand. I like Christian girls. <laughs> oh, it's nothing strange, really. Just some sacrifices and stuff. Yep, I'm a spirit, spirit medium. medium. There you go. In, in training. <laughs> nothing weird. It's a spirit medium. I'm pretty sure that qualified strange. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the day of the murder. Yes! Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes! That clock shaped like the thinker. Larry How could that have been evidence in a case? Um... Right, uh, she said something about that. Um, I remember! Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her own voice? Yes! I'm pretty sure her conversation is on my cell phone. Oh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> you beyond the grave! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Forgot how to leave this. Yeah, me too. Uh, so, you say you have a conversation with your sister on the cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh! I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Oh, well. Sorry. Okay. I was getting all up and excited. <laughs> all right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. I'll write it in ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> she hates ketchup. My is my will add it to the court record. Could you tell, tell me about the day of the murder? No. Sorry, I know some people must be hard. Oh no. That's what she said. No, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> All I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. Kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker of class. Okay. Practically qualifies as a serial murderer. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so then, when did you arrive at the office? was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. Th then I found her. My sister. You should examine her. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Horny jail. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. That's about spirit mediums. So, you're an acolyte. A, er, medium in training. <laughs> That's right. The Fay family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait, so you said the Fay family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her, her powers are first class too. I, That's okay. I had no idea. Wait. What? So, you're a real honest-to-goodness spirit medium? With ESB and all that? Fancy stuff? <laughs> yes! <laughs> In training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit, then? We could just ask her who killed her! That was everything we've solved! Uh-huh. Something... I, I... I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Oh. 
Hmm. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um. I, I was wondering. Could I ask you a favor? This is the address of the famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. Oh, no. And, well, I'm in trouble. <laughs> you think you could go ask him to represent me? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no please. Please do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna ruin <laughs> oh, come on. No. Thank God. I think it just leads you back to the same spot. <laughs> There's like one of these props that actually doesn't. You have to kind of restart the game again. I think. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm not gonna go through that again. Yep, yep. Sure. Why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Uh, hello. <laughs> no Say. one at all. <laughs> Say, what about your parents? Uh. Dad. Uh. Uh. I see. Don't worry. <laughs> Leave it to me. Everyone in my life <laughs> is dead. Thank you. The trial's tomorrow at 10. What? Tomorrow? Tomorrow. 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 <laughs> what I love ya. Tomorrow. What if tomorrow. I refuse? <laughs> they told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. Oh, wait. Like I, oh, yeah. I like this. Hold on, my, my phone is ringing. Hello, state. What is that? Um... <laughs> Hello, <laughs> the state. That Hello, state. They're giving me insult for this afternoon. The visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. All right. Let's head back to... You should examine that security officer no. in the background. <laughs> <laughs> he still doesn't do anyone. Dude! <laughs> oh. I'll be, rice, be rice, if you don't do the voice that I Gross. hope you're gonna do for this guy. Oh, man. You'll see, you'll see. I have a little something cooked up. <sighs> According to the receptionist, the big boss is out. She couldn't say Damn it! I can't do it yet! It must be hard <laughs> to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office <laughs> like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. Never mind, we're gonna go back to the Faye and Co. Law office. Oh, I hate this game. <laughs> September 6th, Faye and Co. Law offices. The office is still filled with police officers. They're all busily searching for food. I think this is Pay. Hey, yeah. you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. See? Uh, uh, sorry. I... Uh, don't I know you for somewhere? Wait, you're that butts guy, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Right. Pretty butt. Huh, no, no, Phoenix Wright. How could you? anyone mistake me for Larry? <laughs> uh, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy. He was a killer, and you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. <laughs> um, right, and you were Detective Suede Shoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Suede Shoes! 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 Um, Suede Shoes, wasn't it? That's me. Don't step on my blue Suede Shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Wait. That's a song. Oh, never mind. He's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> my name's. My name's. Yep, yeah, that's me. Shoes. That's my name. Wait. Whoa, 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 wait. That's the diff dick gum shit to you, pal. See? Anyway, uh, get the name right. And don't go calling me dick. Call me. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> hey, Dick! Get over here! <laughs> Y yes, sir. Be right, be right there. Um, uh, <clears throat> you're her lawyer, right, pal? No. If you got business here, you better do it quick. See? Phew. He thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Should examine him. <laughs> Stop. 
about, <laughs> about Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? I expected a real good. Oh? Um, you want to know the results, eh? No. Don't, don't you look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment, see? All right, all right. You can see rip the report. That's all. Autopsy report added to the court. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution oh. to <laughs> I'm sure you know what that means. You being a lawyer and all. Prosecutor Edgeworth. That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Edgeworth himself. Wait. You know him, don't you? Of course not. <laughs> Never heard of him. <laughs> Whoa, you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, he started edging, and this Edgeworth guy <laughs> became worse. prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. He's a cold, heartless machine who'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. The rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Edwards hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. And I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Alright, let's see. Examine. <laughs> <laughs> Rumor has it he sees some black back alley prostitutes too. Let's see, let me ask him. <laughs> Thanks for this. Don't mention it, pal. When it comes to dealing with lawyers, fight fair and square is our motto. I don't know how to feel seeing everything written up like this. It makes me as death seem so routine. There was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia didn't wrote wrote I'm sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. Oh yeah, I gotta ask about this. I was wondering, did you see Maya face cell phone? Oh with that? I have that. Do you think do you think you could give it back? <laughs> sure. I mean <laughs> wait a second, pal. <laughs> Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. <laughs> oh not so straight. Tell him a little crooked. <laughs> okay, I can't be straight with this guy, but what should I tell him? All the Texas appreciate a good curve. Something to matter? Oh, no, um... That carrying strap on the cell phone. This? Um... It says the Steel Samurai. Warrior of Neo O Tokyo. Yep. The Steel Samurai. That action hero on TV. Yeah, you see that strap is a collector's item. She was worried it might get lost if it went down to the priest. <laughs> she doesn't leave home without that strap on, hey? <laughs> um, that's what she said. I. That's what she said. This is my last Phoenix right here. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who keeps saying examine them. 
Well, no one's doing it, so I have to. <laughs> <laughs> nobody's, nobody's obligated no to do one. that. <laughs> Happening. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> this is my last Phoenix Wright game. Um, <laughs> yes. Okay, pal. <laughs> I wrote down all the numbers she called. Anyway, here you go. Seems he didn't want to notice. He didn't notice the recorded conversation. My cell phone received from Detective Gumshoe. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You done, pal? Um, yes. Thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. Gotcha. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. Including my poofy chest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. I am. Anyway, how about these tits? You better not. Talk to the witness. <laughs> no influencing the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. Oh yes. All right, the witness. Morning. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. What a good lawyer. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> the witness? Yeah. yeah. Miss April May. Yeah, and what's her social security number again? <laughs> <laughs> what's her full phone number? I'm sorry about this. But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? <laughs> there it is. So, you've sent her home already then? Sunday, Monday, happy days. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you're trying to loyally, your loyally tricks on me now. It's not a word. She's not wow, going really? outside her room until the trial. Ah, good. So, she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. <laughs> you got that right, buddy. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. We go visit her God, now, we're yeah. dead. You should yeah. examine. <laughs> Done. Stop. Stop. Gatewater Hotel, uh, room Tits. 303. Yes. Here you go, Coco. <laughs> Time has come. Okay, I know that I said this before, but you should definitely examine. <laughs> no! Well, hello there, handsome. Okay, I'm uncomfortable now. Never mind. <laughs> um, oh, you're uncomfortable. Hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. <laughs> you're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. <laughs> Oh, oh. yourself. No. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. And for making me harder. Oh, I mean, uh... Wait, 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 this wait, is wait. all like something out of a movie. Oh, fucking free. It's all so exciting, Pretty I dude. can hardly contain myself. Huh, neither can I. <laughs> oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. What you better do? I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. Guess <laughs> what, you. buddy? Uh, <laughs> she left the room and now we're examining? Yes. <laughs> There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey! Hey! What are you oh. doing? No touching. Oh, damn it. Ooh, Her bad eyes twitching. Boy. Twitching. Yeah, we're talking about You really shouldn't pry around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset now, would you, Daddy? Please, <laughs> 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 goodbye. Please. <laughs> upset? <laughs> I thought she was going to Keldor's explode gone. for a second there. I wonder what could be inside of the drawer. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. 
Oh, observe, incident. You sound like just like a lawyer in the movie. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Um, better not encourage her. Er, you know the thing that occur, um, happened the other day? The bad thing? What did you see when it happened? <laughs> I don't suppose you could tell me about it. Pretty please. Let me see. Um, well, fuck you. <laughs> Oh if you want to know, you'll have to come to court tomorrow, Mr. Lawyer. Oh boy. <laughs> um, could you just... who exactly are you? Oh, Mr. Lawyer, are you hitting on me? N n no Hey! I, I'm just doing my job here! Tee <laughs> You know, you're cute when you blush. Oh, thank you. Believe me, told. this is the first time in my life I've been flushed this much. <laughs> Virgin. Um, <laughs> right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well. No. Tee hee. And you had your little hopes up, didn't you? I edged you. Okay. And. <laughs> I see there's two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Oh. What amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives, like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm er, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues in the garbage? <laughs> Miss May doesn't like nosy little lawyers. That's all I can say. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Uh, Just move. No, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> a bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. The late summer sunlight streams through the window. That was so poetic. There's a fan coming along the office of the building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize a face from this distance, though. There's no Back. saving this. Gersberg. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Gersberg <laughs> is out. Well, Still. maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. <laughs> oh, this is not. Oh, no. <clears throat> if that wasn't the most um. over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Here we go. Aha! So you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, y yes, that's me. He even- he looks even grander than I imagined. That badge on your collar! Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Y yes well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? <laughs> Something the matter? You you came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it! it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya, Maya Faye. <laughs> ah, yes, Maya Faye. Go on, ex-girlfriend. Why the strange reaction? <laughs> I'm really quite busy here, son. <laughs> I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. But wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Erk. <laughs> anyway. I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, out of discussion. What's going on? He refused me before I even got the chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? That's me. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. <laughs> well, you see, it's just... 
I'm busy, you see. But the client is Mia Faye's sister. <laughs> Mia trusted you. She knew your, her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course, I knew uh, that. However, I'm sorry, but I must refuse. Sorry, goodbye. Creep. Fine. Hey! I don't have a time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Rumble. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. B what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer with their salts will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I... I cannot say. Hmm. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now, I've got I've nothing more to discuss with you. What's going on here? How did you know Mia Faye? She's worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye. She left one day quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. Her cold, dead eyes. She followed it with a burning passion Don't and looked at her when I inspected her. But, I mean, uh... <laughs> uh, uh next, next, please. <laughs> um, um, um. That's quite a painting. <laughs> you notice? <laughs> Why did he it's my pride of joy. <laughs> Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? <laughs> the color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the wave of the, the straw hat. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. That wasn't interesting. <laughs> This guy is scared you, I'm not buying! Jeez. <laughs> I will give it to you, you meddling kid. Uh, present. Oh, we don't have Maya's. Oh, we don't. Okay. Sorry, I thought we had Maya's. Okay, I guess we'll move back to the detention center. See you later, nerd. <laughs> September 6th, 3.42 p.m. Detention center, visitor's room. Hiya. Oh! You're back! Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest, Phoenix. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He's all skin and bones. Oh. I don't think so. What really happened? You don't mean... He refused to help? I sure didn't! Oh, I see. I've been abandoned then. Uh, hello! <laughs> Lawyer on your left! <laughs> what about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young. And I don't know where my mother is. I don't know. So she could be still alive? The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in her blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an incident. There was a man, and he... He... He ruined our mother's life! Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. Quote unquote, become a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary quotes. Yes. So, you live by yourself? Yes. I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent, or I would lose my powers. 
bad for her. All by herself up on that mountain. Yeah, man. So, who was this man who, um, ruined your mother? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, don't say it like that, man. <laughs> Uh, about 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads, and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow. What happened? The case was solved. We thought. Thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. <gasps> the police consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course. But a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? Walter. That was his name. <laughs> my sister told me. Heisenberg. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. White. <laughs> White. Hmm. Just a little longer now before the state appointed lawyer comes, I guess. Oh, look, it's me. <laughs> ring, ring, hello. Oh, I got a call from the state. Oh, uh, hello. Bing, McFly. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Yes. Defend me. Defend it. I've made up my mind, and you can't say no. <laughs> I'm going to defend you. Whether Whoa. you want me or to, to or not. Um, that's not how lawyering works, buddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> why? Why? Well, I don't know why. <laughs> you aren't the culprit. Someone else is. Uh, how do you know? I... Uh, I have a hunch. <laughs> Given the evidence, it would be easy to assume that my own. But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. Oh, sorry, that was the lunch I had earlier. That we <laughs> that witnesses strange behavior. Was that all an act? And the way that lawyer refused to help Maya. Oh. No, but more than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know. I'm sad and lonely. A long time ago. <laughs> oh. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? Because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. Maya, I won't abandon you. You can count on me. Oh, that's so kind of you. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Well, <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. She smiled at last. Looks like an entirely different person. Oh wait, she's channeling somebody. Oh no! She's <laughs> <laughs> channeling Go <Joe> Grossberg. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Hello. <laughs> one last question. You are innocent, right? I, yes! I think that's an important bit of information. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I trust you. So, you trust me too? Oh, okay? It's a deal. Yep. That's how that works. <laughs> Some mafia works. Mm -hmm. so, that's it. What next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just that lady. Just inside yeah. that strange woman's drawer. drawer. Um, um, don't look in her drawers, please. Oh. <laughs> it was when I tried to look in the drawer that she got all the stuff. There has to be something in there. Oh, I need to see. 
<laughs> Chug it, Ted. Move out of my way! Oh, wait, well, wait, well, go back, go back. Whoa, what was that? I need oh, to see your one. legal briefs. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Excuse me. You are... Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I'm the bellboy of this establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I've come to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Uh, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using that our uh, facilities. Let me see. Oh. <laughs> um. If you if you don't need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please stay as long as you like. Enjoy her drawers. <laughs> um. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Wait, no. Hey. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a little bit. <laughs> uh, I almost forgot. Yeah! Keep back quick. Hydrate. What are you asking? You to inform it's me that there's a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right. Sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? Literally five seconds ago? Got it. White. 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 <laughs> White. Stop <laughs> saying that. <laughs> That was his name. My sister told me. That's just racist. OMG. White was the name of the guy who ruined me and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? No. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. <clears throat> what do we have here? A wiretap? Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Fire would you like to know? <laughs> 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 there is definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? There's mm. a story behind it all this. I know it! Alright. I'll be using this little bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial. That's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Uh... Oh dear! The game is making the joke now. <laughs> go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go, go. Go, go. Go, go. Go, go. I'm here. Give me one. Yeah, I'm here. Give me one sec. <laughs> oh, Bellboy's still there? Uh oh. Time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court! Ow. Don't, don't say that. Oh. <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> just, just don't. Yay! We did it. Part one done. Good job, everybody. Well done. Does anybody need a break? No. Really uh, quick, yeah. Yeah, okay. Real quick. We'll take a quick break and it'll give me a chance to say hello and welcome everybody. Welcome guys to our 8th Attorney stream. We are uh, in the midst of case 2 uh, on here. We are uh, probably going to go for another hour or so, um, but uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll find a good stopping point from there. But uh, guys, it's, it's been a blast so far, hasn't it? It's been so much fun. <laughs> um, we've had a lot, of, a lot of fun and a lot of joy. Uh, trying to voice out these characters, and I hope you guys have enjoyed. Hey, go ahead, tell me in the chat what you guys, what you guys' favorite character so far. Um, I want to know, I want to know what you guys think on this. But uh, I, I like that judge. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Uh, boost your voice a bit more. Okay, yeah, I can do that. I can pull up myself a little bit. I hope that helps a little bit to get my voice out there. Judge Snape, Perfectly Pumpkin says. <laughs> Ari says, y'all are hilarious. Yeah, I, I agree. This has been a lot more funnier than I thought it would be, honestly. <laughs> it's so good, though. Uh, old bag, even if it's the wrong game. Yeah. 
I, I, I when we get to get around to doing it, uh, when we get, around, I'm sure we're, we're this is not going to end. Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna do a few of these at some point down the road. But uh, I do want to see <coughs> the voice of old back. Who that might be. Um, that would be I call fun. dibs. <laughs> 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 oh man all right let's see uh all right, still waiting on a few others to come back here so yeah too slow spot still talking about the jackbox games like i try to get it to stop but i can't make it stop so that is just something that's happening so <laughs> just happening. all right then so uh all right yeah, and uh, for those of you who are looking for some Jackbox games tonight, we'll be playing that tonight around seven o'clock tonight. So nice. Um, all right, are we all back? You're not part yeah. of the yeah. train, yeah. are you? Go, 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 no, go. I'm not part of the. Tra- oh. I'm not part of the Jackbox train. No, I, I hope to be one day. Uh, not not today, not today. All right, cool. Let's get started. Uh, is, are you in the Jackbox oh, uh, streamers Discord? I am not. Let me get you in there. Ooh. Okay, cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. Can you, can you send that link my way too? <laughs> <laughs> who, who was who was that? Sorry, I wasn't looking at names. That was uh, Snape. Snape. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> On it. What is it now? Now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Um, you're gonna be able to flip between these two voices. I'm really, I'm really <laughs> <laughs> the defense is ready, Your Honor. Miles Edgeworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me on me light in an instant. Sir Edgeworth, please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, was at the scene of the crime. Oh. Uh, I've been sitting here with my face up here and nobody's seeing the game. It's <laughs> upsetting. Ah, professional streamer, too slow, too serious, bringing to you. All right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, let me get back to the game here. There we go. The prosecution has evidence she committed this murder. And we have a witness who saw her do it. Prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts in this case, Your Honor. Hi. I see. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Let's begin now. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Hmm. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir. My name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. I'm the detective in charge of the homicides down the precinct, sir. Detective Gumshoe. Please describe for us the details of this murder. <laughs> Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map of the office to explain. The body was found by this, this window here. And the cause of death? Loss of blood due to bleeding struck by a blood object, sir. Too many bloods. <laughs> the murder was the murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hands, sir. Court accepts the statue as evidence. Don't sound too disappointed about it, Judge. Jeez. <laughs> I accept it fully! <laughs> They're still calling it a statue. <laughs> Floor plans added to the court record. Now, Detective. Y- yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay, who was at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had hard evidence she did it, sir. Hmm. 
Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the course about this hard evidence. <laughs> it is neither micro nor soft. How hard <laughs> is it? <laughs> Begs the question, doesn't it? <laughs> As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Fay, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? Why? We had a witness describing her. Uh, account describing her. The witness saw Mrs. Maya Fay at the very moment of the murder. Ooh. At very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-examine what? Couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack! Hey, Maya just threw something at me. God! <laughs> What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. Wow, you wrote that down that quick? Jeez. Mm -hmm. yeah, crazy. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. <laughs> I should have expected Maya to, she'd know some of her sister trick. Alright, let's give this a try. Sorry. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> Something the matter. Fortnite? Trying to adjust the robot a little not. bit there? <laughs> no, I exited out of the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Maya Faye's arrest. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Maya Faye, and the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. Why? We had a witness account describing her. Hold it! Hold on just one second. One? Uh, yeah. If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, right? Yes, I said it was... Neither micro nor soft. <laughs> uh? Did I say that? Uh, me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said it. Exactly what about the suspicious woman in Pink's claim was hard evidence? Uh, what? Miss May isn't suspicious, and she sure isn't pink, pal. What? Did you examine that? <laughs> no. Nobody wanted to. I guess she is pink. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof that her claims, Detective? Um... I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There was something I should have told you at first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Oh, heavy sigh. <laughs> 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 Mr. Potter. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written in a piece of paper 
next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab results showed that the blood was the victim's. There were, also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. How do you like that as my hard evidence? Wink, wink. <laughs> I don't like it at all. <laughs> <laughs> no. Before we cross examination, <laughs> I have a question for you, Detective. Uh, your, your honor? When did you realize that you had a crush on me? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Um, I was lost in your eyes. Uh, <laughs> I know, I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it. Your honor, sir. I totally ship Dick Gumshoe and the judge. I totally ship it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm the judge and I don't. <laughs> Be more careful playing with a man's heart like that. <laughs> Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own two eyes. Hold it, you don't have eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you suck on my third eye? I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the victim's uh, blood was the victims. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. My attorney's badge. Oh, objection! <laughs> she died instantaneously! Detective Gumshoe, there's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing the defendant, Maya Fey? That's really what you're saying? Uh, uh, what? This isn't one of your lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else would could have? Mm -mm -mm. You have it backwards, detective. B -b 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 backwards? Yes, not forwards. <laughs> you have it forwards, Detective. Uh, the, <laughs> the victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is the report from your department, Detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. Oh, dude, I said that earlier. She died immediately! <laughs> but... But... No butting your way out of this one, Detective! Yeah, Larry Butts is innocent. <laughs> yeah, order, innocent. order. I'm not in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> the defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have the time to set fucking dog! <laughs> <laughs> You're saying a blunt caused this drama? <laughs> Mr. Wright, I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? Here we go. When? Uh... The day after! It was the day Elf. after the murder. The prosecution's point being... Here we go, here we go. That autopsy report is outdated, Your Honor. What? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object. Oh, no. 
But there is possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. Well, that's just sad. <laughs> I received these results this morning, and look at the big cock I have. No, no way! <laughs> yes, it is big. <laughs> Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine the victim did have time to write Maya. <laughs> I do, I bid you adieu. <laughs> that is all. Case closed. Uh, I, I see. Damn you, Edgeworth. I know. I should have known you'd have something up your sleeve. <laughs> what can I say? I'm a magician. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, you look so shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Edgeworth. <laughs> I'm, I'm a sham. I'm a sham. Detective Gumshoe. Was I a fool to trust you in your report? Uh... Me? I... Uh, I wasn't... Huh? Active Gumshoe. <laughs> I'm disappointed in you, handing him the wrong report like that. Uh... I'm sorry, sir. You are at fault, Detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. <laughs> what? But... <sighs> your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Understood. The court accepts the evidence. Autopsy report updated in the court record. Well, Your Honor, the evidence strongly suggests the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. No, oh, bravo to myself! Darn! <laughs> this isn't good! Darn! The prosecution would like to call its next witness. Uh -oh. This poor... Here we go. Ah, <sighs> fuck. This Woo! poor innocent girl <laughs> saw the murder with her upper eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Let the witness Miss April May take the stand. Exactly what part of her is innocent? Agreed. <laughs> she boys? No. <laughs> hey guys, her tits are up here. <laughs> <laughs> witness, your name, please. April May, at your service. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the best part. What a, an introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. Something hit the underside of my desk. <laughs> the witness will refrain from wanton winking. Aw, yes, your honor. This is not good. <laughs> <laughs> He's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Um, let me adjust my tie. Uh, tell <laughs> us, where were you on the night of September 5th, when the murder occurred? Do you remember? Um, gee, 25? I was like, in my hotel room. <laughs> I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from Faye and Co. Law Offices? Mm, that's right, big boy. Dear, please testify to the court without <laughs> saying those words and about what you saw. <laughs> Alright, we'll avoid the boing boing. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know? And then uh, I just saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was that mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged the one side and ran away. But that girl, she called up to her and she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kind of slumped. Big end. That's all I saw. Every week. Oh, oh, oh. Itsy, witsy, wink. <laughs> I don't do that. I think Coco got this part now. <laughs> <laughs> you lied to. Understandable. Well, Your Honor. 
I see. I'm Her a little tits are ginormous. <laughs> uh, it is a remarkably solid testimony. I'm I solid right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see a need to trouble the witness with any. Well, well wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wren? What about my cross-examination? I'll cross-examine your ass, all right. <laughs> I, the witness's testimony was just now quite um, firm, don't firm. you? Firm! <laughs> Mr. Wright, I understand you were Miss Maya Faye's understudy, will you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny fault in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you! You're talking about the dead here, yeah, man. Yeah, jeez. Yeah, well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Duh. <laughs> yep. Duh. No I'll gladly dog. proceed with the cross-examination. If only because I have a feeling Edgeworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well. You may begin your cross-examination. Witnesses account. It was like, oh, what? Yeah, you're, you're, you're beat, yeah, yeah. you're repeat it, yeah. Sweet. It was like nine at night. I was at the window, you know? And then, oh, I, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was that mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Hold it! Mm. It was not. How dare you? How do you know who she was the defendant? She was not a mouse. Huh? Well, you know, she she had a girlish physique. Women know these things, don't you know? Look, I I just know, okay? There was only or, ah. there was only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. I question. Yeah, he's right. Hold on a minute. That testimony stinks. No one cares what you had for breakfast. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. Crap. Did you really see that defendant at all? <laughs> Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what's the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless about this, I mean. No, just clueless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you had really witnessed my client, Maya Faye, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. <laughs> oh, she's tweaking. Oh, she's twitching. <laughs> no one wears clothes like this on a daily basis. Except her! Wow. Oh, like a damn. Yeah. Jeez. So while you're roasting her. <laughs> and, I, and I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo looks Jeez. far from norm normal to me. Jesus. However. I'm already arrested, now you're making fun of my lord. <laughs> <laughs> However. The witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. <laughs> Coco? I did it. Oh, I didn't hear you. Sorry. Oh. Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. I literally saw her. She was, Your Honor. I saw her. <laughs> I called it. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Ralph! Cool. What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? Oh. I hate this. <laughs> I saw <laughs> what I saw! I just didn't think all of the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May. The court would like to see you, I mean, would like to remind <laughs> you to please omit nothing I did, in your I knew testimony. You were gonna say it. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Good girl, I promise. Wink. Your testimony again, if you would. Without jiggling your tits. 
<laughs> Damn! I almost had her. I did see everything. I did. You did not. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with the, with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock, um, the kind of statuey clock, the thinker, I think. You think the thinker? Well, does the accuracy I of my so. report not startle you? <laughs> <laughs> no, the, <laughs> there's something else that startles me. I see. I only wish you had been in my bedroom. I had been so detailed from the beginning. <laughs> Please begin the cross examination. It's never gonna get old. <laughs> never. So I did see everything I did. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. That that clock, um, the kind of statuey clock? A thinker, I think. Objection! Objection! Miss May. What you said just now was quite revealing. Revealing? Oh, you should like that, <laughs> wouldn't you, naughty news for the lawyer? Yeah, that was coming, though. Yeah, that was coming. You just said that this statue of the Thinker was a clock. But there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Another person in much the same position as you recently called this a clock, dude. And he was found guilty of murder. That's me. <laughs> He's in prison. How did we hear him? No, wait, I'm not in this episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, order. Miss May, can you explain how you know this was a clock? Oh, uh... <laughs> Please don't make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> the witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Objection! Objection! But questions are all I have, Your Honor! That's and not as a good you, argument. that's not good. <laughs> and as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. <laughs> Imagine you said that out loud. Um. Objection sustained. You may continue to question the witness. Phew. That was close. That was. Stop me there. The trial would be over. What? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? That, that's... Because... I heard it? Yes, I heard it. It saved the time. So, you've been to the law offices of Fay & Co. No. Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room, hee <laughs> hee. The law offices of Fay & Co, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. She could have easily heard the clock. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? Uh-uh-uh! No, <laughs> Your Honor! You are too slow! I <laughs> no, I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because... It couldn't have run. Because she hasn't taken her shirt off yet. <laughs> Your Honor, members of the court. It is inconceivable <laughs> that the clock is in a question ring. That clock is missing its clockwork. How could you possibly have known that? <laughs> Just take a look right now. Well, if you insist. Oh! 
Oh, it feels good in my ass. This man has a penis. <laughs> oh my god. See anything interesting, your honor? Yes. I'm gonna take this all. <laughs> as long as we're going away with evidence, right? It, it is as the defense says. It's very comfortable. This clock is missing its clockwork. It's quite empty. Like my soul. Like my soul. <laughs> like my life. Mr. Wright, would you care to explain to the court the meaning of this? It is as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore, this witness is a big fat liar. Well, Dang. Miss May. Uh uh uh. <sighs> hmm? Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock was empty. As you say, it cannot ring. However, we must ask. When was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Hmm. Oh, that, that fucking makes sense. <laughs> That's surprising to me. <clears throat> That's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Oh, ho, 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 it's impossible. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me proof is everything? Well, I was listening, and now I'll show you the proof you like so much. The evidence, the evidence that, evidence that proves, proves when, when the, the clockwork was removed is... I'm sorry! <laughs> the badge! It changed him. Take a look at this. Hmm. That's a very cute cell phone. Yours, Mr. Wright? Oh, you have, um, you have a girly phone. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. This isn't my phone. Listen, okay. this is the defendant's cell phone, and it contains a recording. A recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order. Order. The defendant's cell phone? This, this wasn't brought to my attention. Perhaps, Detective Gumshoe overlooked it? Uh. The good detective better remember that he's up for evaluation soon. I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Same. <laughs> Let's hear the conversation. So, you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Uh, I should probably tell you, the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working. That's lame. I had to take out. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. September fifth, nine twenty-seven a.m. Your Honor, I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded, which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? Mm. Well... Well, isn't it... obvious? I saw that clock before. Um... What store was that again? I... I go so many times. Oops, I forgot! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Uh, <laughs> so, 
so the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. Wright? Yeah, I do. <laughs> Several. <laughs> Let me list them for you. The witness claims she had seen it before. But this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Pull it out. Come on. <laughs> Please produce this evidence that will pr prove the witness had not seen the clock before. Take that! It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. A friend of mine made that clock. Oh shit. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in police custody, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Everything is sold in if... stores. Damn it. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oh! Dang, those are bars! <laughs> those are big tits. I mean. Uh... <laughs> oh. Oh? Excuse is not on <gasps> sale today? Oh, oh shit! Blue light. Uh oh. Uh oh. This product spinning. Oh, 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 oh. 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 What the hell? What's two porcupine head? <laughs> that stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? Is that Coco? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. Yeah, that's Coco. <laughs> that was B or something. <laughs> Whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves, please. This is a court of law, not a stripper's office. Oh, 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 so we meet. Did I, um, like, lose it? Yes, yes, you did. I guess I oh. did. <laughs> it was kind of hot, if I'm gonna be honest. Scary. So scary. Miss May, let me ask, are you free tomorrow night? How big are your tits? Um, well, I already know that. I can see them. Tell me, how do you know the weapon was a cock? Clock. <laughs> <laughs> mm, oh dear. Ah. Uh, uh, does the defense have an opinion on this uh, behavior? Because I, I have got no opinion. idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing I've it got really, many opinions. really well. Thank you for your subscription, to Lita. Lita appreciate it. Has Thank subscribed you so much to the channel. channel. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, this is it. Yes, Your Honor. Allow me to explain I, how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because you had heard about it. The person, the witness, had never held the clock in her hand. However, she had heard that it was a clock. She heard. That is correct, Your Honor. There is no other way that she could have known the thinker was a clock. And I can show you the proof. What? Pull it out for me, then. <laughs> Let's see it, Let's then. see it. Let's see it. <laughs> show me. Show me the evidence. <laughs> Take that. Have a look at this. Uh, uh, that. <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Uh, that's also very illegal, I'd like to mention. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Mr. Wright, you're going to jail! <laughs> Please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May, you were tapping the victim, Miss Maya, Miss Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Were you just tapping the victim? <laughs> uh, come on! On. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that sentence was so difficult for me. <laughs> it troubles me that our witness is in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that were the case, which it's not, you still have no proof, or you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Can you prove that? I think not! Oh yeah? I think I can! It's simple! What? 
<laughs> Here's my proof. The proof. The proof that said the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is. Uh, Why take that. Why did the judge at that point? <laughs> I present the defendant's <laughs> cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. It's your girly cell phone. <laughs> Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again? What is it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like a statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May, you used a wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? I. I. Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face. Does she seem amused to you? The defense demands an answer. La la. <laughs> oh, that's a. <laughs> Witness, please take the pickle out of your mouth and answer the damn question. Did you tap her phone? Miss hmm. May. Shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you fucking lawyer. Oh. I'm a judge. Not use that word. I, it's no fair. All of you ganging up on me like that. Oh, I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? Uh, uh, <laughs> that did it. The court's seen the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. Uh, <laughs> Miss May. What is it, you little shrimp? Talk to, talk to me in that tone of voice, will you? You killed her, didn't you? Order. There will be order in my courtroom. What? How can you possibly say that? Are you mad? All I did was a little wiretapping. And she admits. Oops. <laughs> so you admit you tapped her phone. <laughs> But wait! The pickle! Get it out! I didn't do anything bad like Moida. I'm a good goil. Moida. <laughs> really? Goyle. Can you prove it? No way she can prove it. She proves it. You think you're so smart, Mr. Lawyer. But I can prove it, and I will. You can't be serious! No way! Way? I say way! Oh, and I assure you, I'm serious, Mr. Lawyer. <laughs> okay, so the killing happened around 9 at night. Why, that's just when I was getting room service from that sweet bellboy. R room service? Ice coffee, I believe it was. Ice coffee, you know? Like normal coffee, but cold. Fucking... If you don't drink it quick and ice the milk, then you have regular cold coffee. Shut the boy. fuck up! <laughs> ice coffee? Think I'm making this up? Ask the bell boy. <laughs> he might know what ice coffee is. Ergo, the witness was not on the scene at the time of the murder. So where does that leave us? It is my great displeasure to inform you that the witness appears to have been tapping the victim's cell phone. However, that is a separate crime with no bearing on this current case whatsoever. Her testimony stands. She saw the defendant, Maya Fey, commit murder. No! They're going to let her just walk away! There's no way I can win this unless I tie Miss May to the murder somehow. You'd like that, wouldn't you? 
Well, does the defense have anything to say? Um, well... Come on, think of something! The defense would like to call the hotel bellboy as a witness. There's something suspicious here, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it! I think you've sunk in quite low enough already! I object to calling the bellboy. But why? What's your reason? Because I don't want you to. <laughs> because I hold that the wiretapping had nothing to do with the killing. <laughs> However, if you agree to one condition, I'll consent to calling the- This is not how fucking court works! <laughs> condition? If Miss April May's alibi is not called into question after you examine the bellboy, then you will recognize that Miss April May was not the killer, thus she is innocent. And Good. thereby, you must also accept the verdict of guilty what? for Miss Maya Fay. <sighs> that is my condition. Judge! Judge, uh, get what? in here! <laughs> I better find something suspicious in that bellboy's testimony! Otherwise, Maya will be declared guilty on the spot! What should I do? Give up. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Alright, I've got nothing to lose except for... Well, everything. Understood. I accept your condition. Uh, fool. You're too slow. You fell right into my trap. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, um, wait. <laughs> Very well. I accept this childhood game as my courtroom. The court calls the hotel bellboy to the stand. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Uh, what tip you? I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Very good, sir. Can I have a tea and crumpet, please? <laughs> I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm the head bellboy at the Five Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. Are you the owner? I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for iced coffee to uh, to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at Oof. precisely the requested time, of course, and I delivered the iced coffee to our to our guest, Miss May herself. He's looking right into her eyes. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. I see. <laughs> ah, Alright. No bad. <laughs> right, right. I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, Maya will be finished. I'm the head bellboy of at the Five Gate Water Hotel in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine o'clock on the dot, sir. I brought it to her at precisely the requested time, of course. Hold it! Precisely nine o'clock then. Precisely, exactly, and most definitely fake titties, sir, at 9 p.m. <laughs> how can, can you, you be, be so sure? <laughs> how can you be so sure? How they were real! <laughs> Miss May was quite insistent to be brought then. Oh, bad boy, tee hee, I'd like, like, iced coffee at exactly 9 o'clock. <laughs> Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of nine o'clock, sir, with some lube. Ow. 
Why would she oh. be so particular about the Ooh. Pudding? And I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May herself. Hold it! You are sure it was Miss May, April May herself? Absolutely, sir. Yo. Chick fil A. <laughs> Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. I've got a couple of those. How come you're so very certain? Well, <laughs> when yeah. I got the room service, sir, her tits were right in at my face. She, the guest, sir, favored me oh, with a um, uh, and embarrassed her, sir. Press her? <laughs> what, is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir, but not the French kiss. It was a dick kiss. More like <laughs> a peck on the cheek. Well, why would she have done that? I believe, perhaps, she was momentarily, momentarily swayed by my prim uh, demeanor, sir. No, no, she, no. It was a moment I shall never ever forget. I came right away. <laughs> um, pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Uh, quick note for, for voice actors, we're going to try to get to the end. Looking at the, the script here, I think we're getting close to the end of this part, so we'll just finish out this part. I think. Yep. Sounds it's good. Up. It's no good. There's nothing there. It's no use. It's, is, is that it? Oh, no. <laughs> yes, it is. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. Hmm. You... It was a bit tedious. Yeah, <laughs> sure. <laughs> the witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Give up. <laughs> what, wait, please wait. Yes. Does the defense have something to add? I don't like it. <laughs> one last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> we'll talk later. All right, Mr. <laughs> I'll give you one more question. That's all. Okay. Tisk tisk. This is really it now. This is my last chance. The fifth time it's been the last chance. I get it. <laughs> it's gonna be my last chance again. What do I ask him about? The pickle. Bed making. <laughs> Be bed. Bed making. Tell me about making the beds that day. I was wondering where you were going to ask, but bed making a new low, even for you, right? Now, now, Mr. Edgeworth, we'll talk later. <laughs> the witness will answer the defense's question. Yes, well, uh, it was quite like any other day's bed making. I changed the sheets, the pillowcases, and then I proceeded to make the bed. I had to bring pillows for two, of course, oh. but they're quite light, you see. Two, you say? I see. Thank you. Pillows for two? Gasp! Bellboy! What did you just say? Uh, uh, yes, pillows are light, sir? Yes, that's what my- Bellboy! Tell us the truth now. Was someone else staying in Miss May's room? I object. That was, um, objectionable. Uh, uh, uh. We'll talk later. Objectionable. <laughs> the witness will now answer the question. Uh, her pillows were nice and fluffy. Uh, uh, yes, I see. Why did you not mention this in your testimony? 
Well, sir, you, uh, you didn't ask. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Uh, yes, quite indeed. It was, uh, a good, uh, uh, a good implants, a barrister there, uh, <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, who, uh, he asked me not to mention it if I wasn't specifically yes, sir. You, you, you fool! You did this to me! I've done it! I've won! Miss April May checked into a twin room with a man. What the fuck? Correct? Yes. Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. I was only focused on her tits. <laughs> I was, too, also only focused on her tits. I was also focused on them. Your Honor, <laughs> we have honor. just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Edgeworth? And who, Mr. Wright, who is this, quote, other person, end quote? Simple. Exclamation it was mark. the bellboy. <laughs> Couldn't have been with me. The man who checked in with Miss May. Damn it. Ugh, how did you know? <laughs> Your Honor, as has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murderer. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, my. What a convenient little setup. But it's far too late. Too late? Suppose you'd like it if it was too late, wouldn't you? After all, it was you who hid the presence of another man from this court! I don't like men! Oh. <laughs> Upstart! Amateur! Piece of trap! These accusations are oh. ludicrous! One of my favorite rappers! Enough! <laughs> Enough. <laughs> the court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Y yes. Ah. Yes, Your Honor. That is all. <laughs> that is all. I thought it was for today. That is all today for the trial of Miss <laughs> Fay. Court is adjourned. Nice. September 7th. 2.24 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Mr. Wright! You were amazing in there! R really? I think I might be your newest fan! Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Half-hearted compliment. Huh? Face of his, with his eyes wide and and trembling lips and constant comments about boobs. It just <laughs> it just up my spine. I'm sorry. Listen, I have needs. <laughs> if you say so. <laughs> so, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? No. Um. Well. Do you not hear the conclusion? No, I don't think so. <laughs> not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. So she probably is at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, you know, just to, yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the examine the witness. I, yes, I, I'm examine. familiar. Yes, examine. Oh, yes. I know how to examine the witness. <laughs> <laughs> this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. <sighs> I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who? Uh... Maybe so. No. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find him by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow. But now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony were all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. May's testimony added to the court. I don't know how much the good this will do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. Maya doesn't belong in that detention center, and it's up to me to set her free. We all jump in the air and freeze frame. To be Yay. continued. Freeze frame. Yeah. Yay. Freeze frame. Credits roll. All right. Let me save the progress so I don't forget, because yes. that has much potential. All right. Well, guys, that is our performance tonight. And, guys, thank Beautiful. you so much for joining us. Thank you, all of our voice actors, once again, uh, let's pop up those, pop up, pop that cast list one more time, uh, so we can give proper credit to Lita Pepsi, Sunday Party, Keldor, Coco Cream Wow, Pay the Fee, and Beat Rice. Thank you so much for lending your voices to the stream. I do appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank awesome. you guys for watching. Yes. And absolutely, we will watching. definitely be continuing this for sure. We're going to be discussing our next date at some point soon. I cannot give you a date. I don't know when. We'll be discussing at some point. So, um, yeah. So we will uh, be. Coming back here on the stream at 7 o'clock tonight to play Jackbox games. Uh, in the meanwhile, let's see who we can read out to. Uh, does anybody know where the Jackbox stream chain is right now? Uh, it's mm. the kicking. Yeah, the kicking. I do not. I'm not familiar with that one actually. I typed his name in the uh, chat. Ah, got it. You uh, doing anything Sunday as well? Too slow. Uh, Sunday, for I'm me? traveling to Wisconsin, and but after that, I'm I'm not going to be streaming on probably that day because I'm okay. So uh, I I won't see you then. Uh, you'll see me. You'll see me. Oh my god! Wait a minute! Oh Hold on! I don't know why that's playing twice, but Oracle of Dust! Tee hee, the mutiny madness is coming our way! Oracle's bringing the chaos! You just joined us right at the end of it! Welcome, yep. Oracle! Welcome, everybody, and welcome to the stream! Oh my gosh, thank you so much for the raid. I do appreciate it. Hey, we're about to raid on out, so hey, you're just gonna hop yeah. on the train with us, and we're, we're gonna head on out. So, we're gonna Hi, head yeah. on where the Jackbox stream team is currently at. It's currently with The Kickin'. And we are going to raid on over to them. Guys, thank you so much for a wonderful performance. I've had so much fun. It has been and amazing. Woo! You're going to be voice great. acting on my stream pretty soon here, too. Yes, yeah, I'm going to be gonna be voice acting Mon Monster Prom on Monday night. Um, so more of this hilarity to come. But, guys, I'll see you guys at 7 o'clock. And uh, everybody else, thank you so much for everything. And thank you for sticking around and enjoying our performance. Let's raid on it was over. very fun. Have a good one. Yes. Bye guys. Later. Bye guys. That was Bye. amazing. Yes, absolutely. Indeed.